Okay, so I'm going a little out of order on this one, but at the same time, I couldn't get into Into the Woods in time to do a Disney December for it, and yeah, I'll just do it by popular demand in January. But until then, let's do one I actually have gotten a lot of requests to do, The Brave Little Toaster, a film a million times better than it's deserving to be. I mean, just listen to that title. The Brave Little Toaster. This sounds like a story for one-year-olds that should have little to no effort put into it. And even the setup, in some respects, is kind of like that too. A bunch of appliances, with eyes, mouths, the whole thing, have been sitting around the house waiting for their master to return. But a long amount of time has passed and they're starting to feel like he's never going to come back. Fearing he might be in trouble, they decide to leave the home and go looking for him. The rest of the film is the great big journey they take to try and find where he's gone. Our characters include a radio, played by John Lovitz, a vacuum, an electric blanket, a lamp, and of course, our brave little toaster. For a setup that sounds almost insultingly simple, it's really kind of surprising how much effort they put into it. There's a lot of quieter moments in this movie, which when I saw as a little kid, I was really impressed by. It kind of made me feel more adult to watch something that wasn't constantly trying to be loud and singing and obnoxious. It could let softer moments just be softer moments. But with that said, there's definitely a lot of craziness in it too. They come across a lot of neat characters, a lot of wonderful designs, a lot of scary designs, and even a few hummable musical moments. I especially love the Garbage Dump song. It has a really good beat to it, and even years later, I once in a while catch myself humming it. I to come back to a graveyard. I think your pardon is quite hard enough to live with the stuff I have learned. Your word one of the fun things about it that you know I would enjoy is that there's a lot of scary scenes in it. Yeah, for something called the Brave Little Toaster, there's a lot of really creepy, intense moments. Look at this climax. This is pretty fucking hardcore for a little kid's film. But even beyond that, the characters are actually kind of enjoyable. They're all really simple, but really unique and distinct. They all kind of come together and help each other out as a group, and they all have their moments to shine. I really appreciate this film not just for being enjoyable, but for taking an idea that pretty much had nothing going for it and just putting their damnness into it. This is not a lazy project. This is something that people came together and said, you know what, this is weird, this is odd, but we're going to do everything that we can with it. It's a good film. Okay, not phenomenal, but I don't know what kind of phenomenal things you can really do with this setup. Hell, I'm amazed they even made it to OK standards. This is a fun little adventure to take your kids on. It has enough colorful songs and characters to keep them interested, and enough scary moments to get them going, ooh, what's gonna happen next? It's not spectacular, but there's just something to the atmosphere I really like about it. Every action they make, you feel the consequences of, and you're totally rooting for them every step of the way. Who the hell would have thought toasters would lead such interesting lives? <laughs> 